23 Ballon d'Or France football Le is Ballon d'Or France Football 2023. C'est pour toi Karim Benzema. Lionel Messi. What's up guys, it's your boy Melax so aka from the Air Force gang welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about the ballon d'or 2024 nominees as well who i think is gonna win this and as well who are the top five and as well who won the last ones you know so we're gonna check that don't forget to subscribe like share and let's get it first of all we're going through all the nominees let's check all the names we're going fast so keep up Whichever, let's check it. And I'm gonna read it, so. First of all, we got Jude Bellingham. Player for Real Madrid and England. Great player. Had a great season. He killed it. So yeah, he got a chance as well for the Ballon d'Or. With England, they got through the final with Euros. And he won Champions League. So yeah, that's, you know... You know, they look in that both ways. So I think he got a great chance to win the Ballon d'Or as well. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz of Manchester City and player for Portugal. Great player as well. Uh, this se last season, he didn't won with Manchester City. But the Premier League, he won that. Uh, Portugal didn't won a thing with Interlands. So i think not but he's a great player though phil foden pill phil is it a hey, is it pill or phil i think phil phil foden player of Manchester city and england great player as well i love the haircuts as well i'm not gonna lie but yeah uh this season it was not the best season of pill foden let's be honest but uh yeah Manchester city won the premier league again not the champs league um england they went to finals, so he got he got a chance, you know. On four, we got Federico Valverde. 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 Yeah. Player of Real Madrid and Uruguay. Great player. Hey, this guy is uh, sick. But yeah, won the Champions League, but Uruguay didn't do a thing. No Copa America, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On six, we got Emiliano Martinez. Play for Aston Villa and Argentina. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know this player. My bad, my bad. But, but, yeah, Aston Villa did had a great season. But they didn't win a thing. But Argentina won the World Cup. So, yeah. He, he got a little chance too. Yeah, Erling Haaland with Manchester City and Norway. Uh, Norway didn't go to the Euros. Manchester City won the Premier League, but they didn't win the Champions League. But as well, the performance of Erling Haaland was really great this season. So he got a chance too, but I don't think a big chance, unfortunately. Nico Williams, player of Atletico Bilbao as well for Spain. He got a chance though, uh, had a great, great season at Bilbao, but much greater season at the Euros, won the Euros, so he got a chance. Hey, this name is hard, Granit Shaka, Shaka, Shaja, Shaja, okay, <laughs> I don't know, but Shaja. Player of Bayer Leverkusen as well, of Switzerland, uh, Bayer Leverkusen had a great season, won, they won the Bundesliga, okay, but unfortunately they didn't win up high in the europa league or the champs league one of those uh but yeah switzerland as well didn't go really up so i don't think shaja got a chance unfortunately item the book hey that's name that name is crazy but yeah player of girona as well as in roma in ukraine so uh i don't know this player but hey you got nominee, you know? You, you, you're in the Ballon d'Or nominees. Tony Kroos, legend, 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 legend. Player of Real Madrid as well for Germany. Um, got a great chance as well. Won the Champions League. Uh, unfortunately, with Germany, they didn't go crazy under. You know what I mean? But hey, he got a great chance. Great performance as well. So, uh, yeah. Vinicius Junior. Yeah, great player. I already know. Play of Real Madrid as well. Brazil. Bro, Real Madrid performance. We we know. He killed the last season. Great player. We know. Unfortunately, in Brazil, 
isn't that level that we expected of Brazil. But yeah, I think uh, Felice Jr. got one of the biggest chances. One of the biggest, biggest chance to win this. Yeah, I think so. Dani Olmo, great player. RB Leipzig as well, Barcelona and Spain. Bro, he killed it at Euros, let's be honest. Um, I think at Euros, he really stood out to me. He really stood out for me. Um, I really knew him through Euros more than uh, at Leipzig. But yeah, he's a great player. He got a chance as well. Won the Euros. Um, yeah, Leipzig, fortunately, runner up at the club. But yeah, Florin Wietz, player of Leverkusen as well, Germany. Uh, I don't know a lot of him, but yeah, he won the league with Bundesliga. Germany didn't win a lot higher, like I said, but yeah, he, he, I don't know. I don't think he got a chance. Martin Odegaard, great player of Arsenal as well. Norway. Yeah, Norway unfortunately did nothing this season. They didn't went to, uh, like I said, as well from Haaland. They didn't went to uh, Euros. Arsenal had a great run out, but unfortunately they didn't want nothing. So I don't think he got a chance. Mats Hummels, legend player of Borussia Dortmund as well. Roma, Germany crazy but yeah uh Mats Hummels didn't want a thing Dani Kafka hey this guy is on fire okay one with Real Madrid the Champions League and as well with Spain the Euro so he got a chance to win this as well sick Lamina Jamal play of Barcelona didn't win with Barcelona nothing unfortunately but with Spain he won the Euro so he got a chance as well so yeah Hakan uh, last season he won the league with Serie A with Inter um had a great runner up with Turkey as well so I think he got a little he got a little chance yeah William Saliba player of France as well of Arsenal uh, Arsenal like I said runner up France as well this season runner up with Euros so I don't think he got a chance though but shout out to Kian Mbappe, great player right now, player of Real Madrid. Uh, last season's player of PSG and France as well. Last season he won the league with Paris Saint-Germain. Um, I think Champions League, unfortunately, like the runner-up. He got a chance, definitely, definitely. He's a bro, he's one of the best, he's the best player right now in the world. So he got a chance, but I don't think he's going to win this one. Unfortunately, Lauturo Martinez, hey, he got a great chance. Won the league with Inter as well. Argentina won the World Cup, so uh, yeah, he, he got a chance. Adomola Lukman, great player of Nigeria, player of Atalanta as well for Nigeria. I think he got a great chance as well. Won with Atalanta the European League. Um, Nigeria had the finals at Africa Cup. So he got a great chance as well to win this. Antonio Rudiger got a chance as well. Player of Real Madrid and Germany. Uh, Germany runner up. Uh, Real Madrid he won the league as well. The Champions League. Alejandro. Alejandro. Alejandro Grimaldo. Grimaldo. Yeah. Player of, player of Leverkusen as well. Of Spain. Won the Euros with Spain. Won as well the league with Leverkusen, so he got a chance as well. So yeah, man. Let me give my top five right now. My top five is Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Junior, Dani Kovacha, Kylian Mbappe, Downey Omo. Five. That's my top five. So uh, yeah, let's 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 see who's gonna win this. But I think Vinicius Junior gonna win this season. Uh, it's in October, so hey. Hopefully, let's let's check it out. Let's let's see as well. Let's go five years back on who the winners was of the Ballon d'Or. Last year was Lionel Messi was the winner of the Ballon d'Or, player of Inter Miami. In 2022, Karim Benzema was the player of the Ballon d'Or. Crazy. 2021 was Messi again. They didn't do the 2020 unfortunately for the Corona, but 2019 was Messi again. 2018 was Luka Modric, and 2017 was Cristiano Ronaldo. So yeah, man, it's crazy. Hope you guys don't forget to subscribe, like, share, tell me down below what you want to see next. Let's get it.